Well, we have arrived at our fantastic little spot. We're going to be fishing here, this stream. We'll just figure out the methods and see what we're going to do. And we'll try and discuss a little bit about how we approach the water when we're fishing. So what's your rig there, Powell? You got an indicator rig on? Yeah, I got an indicator. New Zealand indicator. With a pheasant tail there and what have you got out? A hair and cop uh, copper joint. Cool. Very good. See what works. Let's go. Yeah. It's pretty pretty cool on the legs waiting in this stream. But yeah. So a little bit about approaching a stream like this. So I mean if you can see there, it's crystal clear. It's uh, quite small. The fish here in this stream get fished to quite a bit. So they are gonna be skittish. There's not that many fish in a pool either. So ideally you wanna work your way up the tail and just try and spot fish first. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go to that opposite bank because the current, the tail's coming out this way. So we wanna be on the inside edge of this bend and we're just gonna slowly work our way up. Do you hear that, Powell? Cicadas. Yeah, yeah, that's a good sign. On small streams like this, I tend to stay out of the water as much as I possibly can. And I'm just fishing that foam line over the other side. This is not a high number stream. There might be three or four fish per pool at max, but they tend to be quite decent sized fish. If they're not on the top here and they're sitting in the bottom, this is too deep for my dry dropper. Powell's nymph might get it behind me, especially in the head where it's a little bit faster and running. Chances are if there's a fish, he'll be the one to get it in there. Oh, just got eaten. I wasn't paying attention. Took the dry. That's an awesome start. Yep, got him. Nice. That's a good fish. Woo, jumpy. Okay, so there you go. Careful approach, a dry fly eat, and then one on the nymph, on the dropper. Are you okay with nothing? Ah, uh, yeah, I should be all right, I think. Oh, got him, got him, got him. That's a nice fish. <laughs> what a way to start. Beautiful fish from a tiny piece of water. Awesome. Just very quickly, my setup. I'm fishing with the Nano Nymph 10 foot 3 weight and a perfect type of floating line. Then I have got a 9 foot 3x tapered leader on there then 3x making it about 10 foot from the end of the tapered leader another so another foot or two and that goes to a foam hopper cicada style dry fly very buoyant and big uh, a tractor pattern and then I've got quite a long dropper probably about four foot uh, to a small size 14 beaded heron copper that's what I'm going to start with today and we'll see how that works. So a classic New Zealand approach to pools like this is where it's clear. The person on the ground level can't see anything. So if there's a high bank or a bank that the other person can go up and spot from, that's ideal. So I'm just going to get down and do that and see if I can pick up a fish in the pool for him. Very hard to fish, but there is often a fish or two lurking right at the tail. There he is, I can see him. Dry drop of power. All right. You ever see him there feeding? Right in the tail, just right in the shallows, on the sand, the yeah, sandy rocky yeah, bits, yeah. just sitting behind the tiny boulder. Mm -hmm. Do you see him? Yeah. So that's good, leave it. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Take, take it, take it. Oh, too late. Yeah, oh, that was cool though. Okay, so this is the head of the pool that I was talking about. So uh, what we normally do is it's very hard to get a good drift here, so we'd stand here on this flat bit and then you cast up into the fast water, throw a big mend and let it drift all the way back into the tail there and uh, 
once it gets nice and deep sort of in the middle of there they often take over there there's normally a fish or two in here let it keep going no no all the way to the tail if you can get it all the way to that rock wall and just keep letting line out and letting it drift yeah can you get it go further You almost want to get it to go all the way to the shadows if you can. Oh, you got him! Yep. You got him! Nice work! Awesome! Nice little rainbow! Woohoo! We're on board! Yep! The plan worked! Line. Very cool. Beautiful shiny little rainbow. Yeah. So Powell, when you go further up, just put a couple through the inside edge and the slow water because it's the only place that I can see something that kind of looks like a fish. Yep, good work. I saw that and I thought oh, that's got to be a fish. Nice. Release. Oh, long distance relief. Yep. Okay. Big pool in front of us, super clear, flat calm water, high banks either side. So you can't really do anything but get in the water and work your way up. So if you can't spot a fish, to fish to you just have to carefully work your way up roughly water in front here look very nice yeah. there we go mate. got him oh that's a good fish perfect in the ruffles it's like we're gonna have to fish the shallow water ah yeah it just came off Ah, okay, I was going to finish this up, see if there's another one in there. Yep, got him. Not as big a fish, but got one. <laughs> Very cool. I think it's a brown, it's a brownie. It's a brown. A little brown. Oh, that's when we were talking on the way. Yeah. So he's going to have a brownie from the stream. Our first brown from the stream. Flies come out. Here and Copper do the trick. Nice. Very cool. Woohoo! There we go. Lovely. Okay. Cool. So, same strategy as before. I'm just going up and seeing if I can spot anything. Our power will just. Then to this deeper pool. Okay, right, I can see a fish. Just be ready. It's, it's going to take very soon. Take, strike, strike, strike. Yes. I saw him come over for your fly. Nice fish. Keep him on, keep him on. Are you alright with netting? <laughs> He's uh, really running out. Eh? strong in here. Oh no! Ah! Oh. Oh. No, we are hook, no harm. <laughs> <laughs> this is the sort of water a lot of people would potentially walk past. So if you've got a dry dropper on, all these little flat pockets in between, on both sides, you gotta just walk up the river and just fish it quickly. You never think it's too shallow or there'll be no fish. Got him! There we go. As I said, it's not a big fish, but still a nice one.
Ah. I was a bit rough with that one. He wasn't big, so I tried to boss him around. Got him. It's a good fish. Nice fish. Not huge, but... Okay. See if I can you keep this one on. Ah! What is going on? Ah, we're having a drop day today. All right, Paul got one. Just as I started to think there was someone up in front of us. Try and keep this one on, Paul. <laughs> We've both had a bit of a run. It was a nice fish too. All right. So I left his head. Not quite ready yet. Ah! I nearly hit him. Where are you? Okay. Oh, don't drag him up into the rock. I got. Sorry, Paul. I slipped when I fell over trying to try to net them there. Yeah, that was not good netting. Sorry, Paul. No, no, that's all right. Yeah. That, that was a nice fish, though. Work. Yeah, We've good. been having a drop seas day. <laughs> <laughs> a drop seas day. A real drop seas day. All right. Some dry drop of water above here again. This is nice water ahead of you. Yeah. There must be a fish sitting over there, must be. Okay, dry, dry, dry. Oh, I missed it. You missed it dry, did you see that? No, I didn't because I was jumping out of the big stone. <laughs> All right, attempt number two. Let's see if this one will take the nymph. Instead of the uh, instead of the dry, if it's still there, it's still there. It's not getting a good drift. Got him. Okay, he's not big, but I'll try to land him this time. I'm so careful now, I'm so worried about losing it. <laughs> it's not even that big, but I'm like, I know, I just want to land the fish. I should get it on the reel. Just don't be lazy. There we go, woo! Landed a fish. Great success. <laughs> success. Great success. It should have been a dry fly fish, but uh, Got him the second round on the NIM. Nice little fatty rainbow. Cool. Still like underwater. Okay, I'm just gonna continue fishing this. Got him. Even these little fish are quite strong. Oh, it's not as little as I thought. It's a better fish. Nice. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Patience was maybe not a good idea. He just went. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I very nearly lost that fish there. Oh, it's quite strong for a size. <laughs> Possibly. Oh, that's right. Yeah, this is a much better fish. I feel like I'm walking on eggs. It's just too rapidy down there. 
and I'll bring him down to you. Lift the head. Nice. Woohoo! That's a much bigger fish than it looked like, eh? Yeah, it's a nice, nice, nice bow. Nice bow. Nice and fat. Yeah. Cool. First set. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> Very happy with that fish. That's been that's been a long time in the making now. Yeah. Losing so many. And finally we started landing fish. Yeah. We've got the local swimming hole below us. It's quite cool. You know, family swimming. Don't break. Unless you quickly want me to retire for you and you want to dry drop very quickly. No, I'm no, I want to retire, I want to change the fly. Alright. Sorry? No, I've not seen any yet. This is still stretching, the opposite water looks quite good, but. I'm just going to fish that opposite current over there. Good fish. That's a very big fish. That's a big fish. Oh no no, that's logs. Oh, yeah, nice rainbow. I didn't try and keep it on. I know it's wrapped. Oh no 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 no. Power is wrapped. Okay, I need a net. Oh, ho, ho. awesome. It's a nice fish. Yes, yeah, awesome. Wow, wow. Fishing that opposite current was absolutely worth it. Fantastic. Cool. And there we go. Oh, there he goes. What a stunning oh, fish. Yeah, good awesome. Yeah. Nice. Again, we're going to do the same thing. Just go up on the bank a little bit higher, but we'll cover behind and just see if we can spot anything before we go too far. So, yeah, we've just decided we can't see anything, so Powell's just going to nymph through it. Yes! Yes! I thought that indicator was doing some funny stuff. Oh, another one! Okay, you're gonna need it, you alright? I'm happy to need it. Although I lost your last one. Fall in the water. Oh. Nice work. Oh. <laughs> my style. <laughs> my, uh. my style continues. <laughs> I, I just saw that it was gonna happen. I was like, oh, I was, I was about to say that fish is gonna swim away. <laughs> good job though. Nice fish. Awesome. Good work. This is another fast spot. This is a bit of a rapid. Again, I've, I've nearly made the mistake of walking past here. And uh, it was just I happened to pay attention and spot a fish in one of these pockets right in front of us here. I just need to remember which one it is. Got him. Took the dry. This is going to be chaos. Little one took the dry fly. Little brown again. Brownie. Cool. 
beautiful. Took the cicada dry. Woohoo! Very nice. Cool little fish on the dry fly. So this is classic dry dropper water. We've already accidentally spooked the fish out of the shallows. Beautiful little shallow riffles and that lovely run up the top. Such absolutely good looking water. He just hasn't had a touch yet. Do not know why. Oh, dry fly eat! Yes, nice fish! Nice, I just turned the camera on. I was scratching my head. Nice. Oh, awesome. Just keep going, you're almost there. Nice. Woohoo! Yes! Awesome! That's fantastic power. Lovely fish. Awesome, awesome. Well, we were trying to get a photo and the underwater release. And just as I stopped it for the photo, guess what happened? Well, do you want to give us a replay? I don't, I don't know what happened the first time in my life. <laughs> the first time, really. I can't explain. <laughs> So that signals our turnaround point for today. We're going to go to our accommodation and go and have some lunch and check in and sort things out. So that was a great morning's fishing. So we'll see you after lunch. Yes, turn around here. <laughs> nice. Hello Lloyd, hello Brian. And we're back at the river. Look at that, just stunning. There should be a fish somewhere in here. Oh, this, this is where Barry said that we very mean they fished this morning. Well, I thought he said they didn't fish here, but I, maybe I got confused. Yep, go up. Oh, well, that whole stretch and only this one fish. That whole stretch and only this one fish. Very windy now too. Come on, fishy. Very noisy and very windy at the moment. There we go. Oh, Much bigger fish than I thought. Very nice little fish. I thought it was quite a bit smaller actually, but it's quite nice. So it's been quite windy and quite noisy, so I don't know if you heard what was going on really in that stretch. But I fished that whole stretch up, which like, looked like perfect water, just didn't pick up any fish. And it wasn't until I got here right to this head bit where it narrows that I picked up that one fish. So. Don't know whether someone's fished up in this section before us today. That could have happened too. Um, Powell's now got a really nice section to fish up here. And he can fish that section up under the tree and then there's another nice section up there. Nice! Powell on right out of that run. Dry dropper. So take the dry or the dropper? No. Dry. Nice. Very nice. Awesome, looks like a good fish. Drop it. Drop it? I drop it. That's strong, eh? Oh no! Ah. I think I see what you see. It's a stone, I think. But yeah, the, the stones look very fishy here. With the wind going. Ah, the wind just blows it out. And if I angle it too much, then... Oh, splash, but anyway. Let me do what I can do.
Oh, got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Dry fly eat. Perfect dry fly eat. Nice. Okay, get him on the reel. Fish. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was stressed me out. I know, I know. It's a good fish. That was a perfect dry fly eat. Woo! There's a lovely fish. Get him above me. Yes! Oh, oh, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. I'm coming to see the fish of the day. The, foot, the footage will be a little bit out because a big spider was attacking me. <laughs> Oh, almost I lose them for a change. <laughs> they nearly swam out of the net. Oh, that is a lovely fish. What a lovely jack, my goodness. Just hold him in the water for a second. I'll have another look at him. That's a good fish, that's a lovely fish. Dry fly eat as well, my first uh, decent dry fly eat of the season. Oh, look at him there, cool. Well, what a spectacular day that was. I hope you learned something about how we approach the water and I hope you enjoyed the fishing. If you enjoy this sort of videos, want to watch another one up there and thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.